guys so today we have something new to the channel this is nook um i love him he is by 52 toys um now there is a story with nook he is a quiet introverted and sensitive boy but he has a genius creative mind his mind is filled with all sorts of imaginative thoughts. He enjoys staying in quiet corners, observing the world, and he buries his head in notebooks, doodling, and turning his ideas into various crafts to accompany himself. So, I love our little nook. This is actually the second set of the series. Um, the first one, I wasn't quite in love with all of the designs, so I just got like a few pieces here and there. But this one, Nook Little World, I completely love this one. So I got the full set. This is what the box looks like. Look at how cute. This is one of the options right here. And the box feels really nice. It's like textured. Ugh, I don't know how to describe it. This is all of the designs. There's eight in total with the possibility of a secret. Just look at how cute he is. Oh my gosh, he's so adorable. And then this is just what the box looks like all around. It's a snook little world and it is by 52 toys. So without further ado, let's open box number one. I feel like Nook is the Demu of 52 toys um, from Pop Mart. Like, does anybody remember Demu from Pop Mart? I feel like Nook is that version, but with a touch of Hirono, I have to say. Oh, let's see. This one is the bag. It just says 52 toys all around and then with their logo. So let's open our very first Nook together. Okay, and this one is, oh my gosh, this is actually the one that I wanted the most out of this whole set, and oh my gosh, this one is hefty. This one is called Moonhaven. So this is what Moonhaven looks like, you guys. The quality of this, oh, I rarely say this, but this is the best quality figure that I've ever had. I mean... As soon as I held it, it's very hefty. It's like rock. And then his hair is flocked all the way. Look at his eyes. It just looks like it's kind of following you. It's so well made. I mean, and you guys know I gush always about how Pop Mart is made. This one, I mean, 52 Toys has always made crazy, beautiful things. Remember like the Sleep Elves? Yeah, this is the same maker. So let's take a look at Nook. He has freckles look at that smile with the little nose and then the way that his eyebrows it just looks like he's like caring and so sweet he just gives off that vibe so there's actually a story that goes with each of the figures so for this one it says folding a crescent moon from cardboard and coating it with luminous paint the lifelike moon won't hang in the sky but it becomes a sanctuary for lonely children on earth this is so sweet oh my gosh knock I know that was like really long. I haven't even shown you guys the details, but there's like tape covering it. The difference in texture is wild. Like the f flocking, the smoothness. This is like rough. Look at the little kitty cat. It's so cute. It does come with this removable star. Um, and then look at the back. They could have just like left it like this. And a lot of times that what happens with figures. They just leave it like this and there's nothing in the back. But nope, they completed the body. This is so stinking cute. I love this so much. And this moon does glow in the dark. I can't really show it to you guys because it's not dark. But let me turn off the ring light. Okay. And then let me shine a UV. You guys can tell if I shine it on normal things, it's just, it kind of shows white. But this one, you can tell it glows in the dark because it turns this like crazy vibrant green. Is that not crazy? And then like, because the UV light takes away the light source, you can kind of tell it kind of gets darker everywhere else. And it's so beautiful. Like, you see it? You see it? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. So when I shield this side, you can kind of see the luminous glow compared to like, see? It's so, so well thought out. This is gorgeous. So this is our figure for Moonhaven. And the card is a little bit different. I'll give you that. But this is what the card looks like. Let's move on to number two. I have never on my first pull ever pulled the one that I want. So that to me was so freaking exciting. 
let's see. Ooh, I don't want to see the card. The card's a little flimsy, I'll give you that, because it does come, like, on its... Like, I don't know. I don't know why the card looks like this. That's something that will bother me, but <laughs> it kind of is... It's so quick to bend, basically. Let's see what this one is. Our second figure. Oh. <gasps> I'm not even joking. This is the second one I wanted. This is the mushroom one. It's called Forest Magic. So this is the figure for Forest Magic. I am not even joking. The quality, I, I will never shut up about Nook's quality. Ever, 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 ever. It is freaking beautiful. This surpasses Hirono to me. This is just amazing. The freckles are there. The eyes following us are still there. It's so cute has a shirt that says nook look at his converses with jean shorts and then there's a rabbit look at this it says can you guys see on there it says magic and then there's like a mushroom and then out of the mushroom comes this like i don't know transparent translucent kind of thing that then turns into an opaque bunny i'm speechless and then this mushroom Oh my gosh, let's talk about this mushroom. It is so beautifully made. And then underneath, as you can tell, something lives underneath there. It is our cute little companion. I think it's a cat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a cat. It's a cat dog, maybe. So it just sits there. I mean, you can really barely see it, but it just sits there like that. Oh my gosh. And then look at his hair. Like his hair is like amazing. It's not flocked this time, but there's a, definitely a lot more hair here. And then it's kind of shaved in the back. Oh my gosh. This is phenomenal, you guys. I, okay. Nook has to be my favorite now. And I think I'm going to go ahead and order the first set, like all of it, because it's beautiful. So this is our figure for Forest Magic, and it does come with a story. So the story goes that in the magical forest, gigantic mushrooms flourish. Nook opens a storybook and a rabbit leaps out from the pages. Thus begins a fantastical magic performance. That's so stinking cute, but this is what I mean about the card. This one is bent, and this is me after I've fixed it. But it's okay, because the figures definitely make up for this card. I just wish they filled it so it would have been stronger. But this is the figure for Forest Magic, and this is our card. On to number three. Oh, man, this is amazing, amazing, amazing quality. Oh, something's out. <gasps> it's a bear. Oh, my gosh, this is the Shaker Bear. Let's open this one and take a look oh yeah this one seems a lot smaller i think it's because the the head part is already out so let's get to opening this one it's really it's really thin and it's pretty small but here he is this is called bearwood star so this is our bearwood star it is not magnetic but it does just kind of like plop in there and he's holding it it's so cute his hair this time is flocked as well oh my gosh i'm starting to love this flocked hair um is it called a buzz cut i don't know i think that's what this is called um and then he's wearing a bear suit this one's like a shaker um i'm not a big fan of shakers but basically there's glitter in here and then you just kind of shake it like almost like an anxiety toy but i don't know i'm not a big shaker fan they just the glitter kind of moves around but it's okay the figure is just so stinking cute so this is what it looks like in all its form and it says the human world feels a bit dull so nook retreats into the bear coat seeking a sense of security introverted children often enjoy hiding themselves yet they inadvertently emit a radiant glow that that's beautiful. I like that a lot. So this is our figure for Bearwood Star, and this is our card. This is box number four. I kind of want to stop opening them because then that means I have nothing else to open because we're halfway through. This is just so good. I love it. Okay, so this is for number four. Let's see what we get. Ta -da. oh this is the spinning one ah oh, this is called um ripple record player that's a cat 
So this is what our Ripple record player looks like. This is Nook barefoot with just a t-shirt and shorts. His hair is flocked in this one as well. His freckles, oh my gosh, his face is just so gorgeous. And he's holding on to his little companion, the little kitty cat. And they are standing on what looks like a basically a frozen slash melting record player. This does come with an adhesive dot right here, but I'm not going to take this off. Um, but as you can tell it spins and the reason for that is once you once you kind of have him like Stuck on a surface. He spins um, Let me show you guys. So he's spinning his cat. You guys see that so there's no story with this one But I think this is pretty self-explanatory. This is just like being joyful. I love this so much So just going around and around with this kitty cat. Yeah, this is gonna be a good anxiety toy <laughs> as like a desk um, Companion, this is so cute. So this is our figure for Ripple record player. It's kind of hard to show you guys because I don't know what angle maybe like this and this is our card And now we've sadly passed the halfway mark. We are on to number five. Oh, this is so beautiful in all the ways. All right, let's see what figure we get. Ooh, Ooh it's the straw hat guy. The scarecrow. This one is called Talk in the Rye. So this is our cover right there. This is a scarecrow. He's holding on to like a chicken. <laughs> it's so cute because I've never seen a scarecrow hold on to a chicken at all. This is such a cute straw hat and the details, you guys. Just take a look at that, the coloring. And then it looks like it's pulling on certain areas and it's worn. Oh, it's beautiful. It's so, so beautiful. This is definitely a work of art and then the shirt it's just everything's made out of wood his hand though is normal but look at his legs his legs have like wood type of material on there his clothing all the way around he has longer hair in this one his eyebrows i just really love the way they did the eyebrows he just looks like he's worried but also that he's kind or he's saying like oh i don't know it's just so cute this chicken cracks me up all the way around. You can even see, you can even see one of his ears here. This is just so stinking cute. So this one says, the wind rustles through the waves of wheat, carrying the melody of a gentle song. Birds and scarecrows share tales of distant sights. In Nook's tiny world, every whispered word is attentively heard. That's beautiful. So this is our figure for Talk in the Rye, and this is our card. All right, on to number six. And I'll tell y'all now, these figures can stand. I mean, <laughs> they have no problem standing at all. I don't know why this one is a little heavy. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, oh, this one has, ooh, the head is off. <laughs> but this one is called Space Time Travel Case. Let me go ahead and put him together. So this is what space time travel case looks like with his head attached. It's so cute. Look at the hands. And then his little friend is like in the suitcase. It's so cute. It is kind of like a shaker as well in the fact that it's an hourglass and you can tell that, yeah, the glitter is going through. This is so cute. I just kind of have to tap it for you to see it go through, but I think that's so cute. His cat is right on top and look, there's like tears. I think he's going too fast. Ooh the head it's so funny and this one actually rolls so there's definitely wheels at the bottom as you can tell right here so the story goes that the vintage suitcase discovered in a thrift store possesses magical powers to traverse through time and space as the hourglass flips time flows and then in quotations fear not for we have courage as our armor that's really cute i mean i feel like he's just a much happier hirono to be honest with you and that to me is very hopeful and very cute this is the figure for space time travel case and this is our card so maybe i should show you guys this way oh one fun little tidbit is these socks are flocked so they're furry they're that's so clever and just it just makes me giggle okay 
second to the last so that means we're on number seven. Oh my gosh this has been such a journey i love it all right let's see what our number seven figure is oh it's already out <laughs> you can kind of tell that it's the bicycle one so this one is called giumi express so let's kind of open this one before we jump into putting it together there he is oh look at his helmet that's so cute so let me go ahead and put these two together so this is giumi express in all its glory it did come with quite a bit of um, accessories so the balloons are part of the accessories i love their smiling faces his cat looks so afraid i feel like <laughs> i feel like he just goes super fast on everything so he just kind of sits there this one is a loose accessory and then on top of his helmet we do have this little wind thing and it does turn the wheels do turn as well oops so he does attach through his hands so as you can tell he can he can do tricks <laughs> it just looks like he's giving us the side eye it's so cute but this is his face and then in there it is flocked you can't remove the helmet but the helmet looks very homemade indeed and then on the other side this is what it looks like oh, i love that his like little tricycle says nook on there that's just so cute I feel like his brand is everywhere. He's just, just, there's just nook everywhere. So the story for Giumi Express goes that pedaling through the city on a bicycle adorned with a windmill decorated helmet, adding a touch of life. For the precious sentiments you wish to send, you can trust them to Giumi Express. Oh, he's a delivery boy. That's so sweet. So this is our figure. It is kind of like a bigger one. So I'm sorry that I'm like kind of far away off from the camera. But hopefully you guys have seen the details. But this is what our figure looks like. And this is our card. So this is our last one. So let me see. It's either going to be the flying captain, because that's what we haven't gotten, or the secret. So let's see what we got. Oh, just from the feel of it, this is the flying captain. I can feel it. Because the secret's like very flat, like a like a frame. Yep, there he is. So adorbs. So this is our last figure, the flying captain. This one does have like a clear type of like plastic on here. So it does kind of resemble glasses very much. Um, look at his eyebrows, so cute, his little nose, and then his smile, and the freckles. So on here, he does have a patch that says N, and this jacket feels like real leather. It, it's kind of crazy. Then he has a scarf, he has these shoes, look at his shorts that says Nook, and then the cardboard box, of course. This is like very much like cannot be ever replaced childhood type of memory for everybody playing with cardboards so he made wings out of cardboard and then this is what the back looks like there's like paw prints back there I love this like helmet he has on it's just very cute aviator helmet the story on this one says creativity acts as the hands of a divine force breathing life back into discarded cardboard Wearing paper wings, they navigate between the skyscrapers and the sky. The destination of this journey is in the land of freedom. Oh, so cute. So this is our flying captain figure. And this is our card. So this is all of our nooks. All eight of them. We did get all the regular designs. So definitely so super fun to get all of them. This is what they all look like together. They just are so freaking amazing. I love them so much. This is such a good buy. I highly, highly recommend if you guys haven't unboxed a Nook to try and get one just because they're so well made and I really, really love their design. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing with me. And I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye.